Hello everyone. Today we will prepare this dynamic calendar. Here we can filter the years based on that the dates will be changed. You can see. Also we can filter the months from this combo box. See January, February, there are 28 days in February. And also if your organization has two week of Sunday and Saturday we can select week of will be highlighted as this light gray color if there is only one week of then we can select the week of two as known then the Sunday only will be highlighted if there is Monday is the week of you can select Monday now we can select Sunday and Saturday for the week of now quickly we will see how to prepare this dynamic calendar okay here we will get the year filter and here we will get the month filter here we can get the week of of the week week of one and week of two now we will get the combo boxes to get the year month and week of from developer menu from the insert we can get the combo box we can get copy of that now we will select both of the combo box and from format we can align left now we will select both of the combo box and get one of the copy here for the week of one and two here we will uh, type the years i will take 2000 to 2035 we can take how many years we want i am taking until 2035 and here we will type the 12 months here will be the big day sunday to saturday also here i will type as known if there is only one week of in that organization we can select known for the one of the week of now we will right click the year combo box and from format control uh, select the input range of the year we'll select the cell link and here we'll get 10 years in drop down list then right click the month combo box and format control input range and the cell link we'll select this one there are 12 months so in the drop down we will select 12. for the week of right click format control input range we'll select this cell link we'll select this one for the week of two also the same now we will select the year from the combo box one of the year uh, let's select 2023 one of the month we will select january one of the week of sunday another week of is saturday we will select okay the row numbers automatically updated for the year month and week of this is the year month week of one and week of two here using index function we will get that uh, selected month text here the year array is this one this array will select that column let's fix that comma the row number is this one through that cell link okay same as we will get the month and week of as well here will be the big days sunday to saturday right we will align them center here we will select six rows and seven column for the days as we selected here the year and the month we can get the as we selected the year and the month we can get the start date of the month and the end date of the month start date of the month using date function the year is this one as selected from combo box uh, let's fix that uh, how much the month the row number is this one we have to select the row number here let's fix that the first day of the month so fifth Jan first january 2023 is selected so this is the first day of the month we'll get the end day of the selected month using eo month function the uh, start date is this one let's fix that comma month is the same month so zero we'll select this two cell control one is the shortcut to format cells these are the dates right so from custom you can change this date to date, date format to d d dash 
3 times m dash 4 times y right we got those dates now we will get the day here for the selected month and year we will we are going to get the dates equal if the previous cell of this cell equal md if this is md then we will take an if function again text of this starting date of the month that big day it is equal to this first big day that is sunday here if it is that let's fix this one if it is that then let's print start day of the month comma or else empty. empty close parenthesis comma for the first if function this if function is for value true for the value false this previous cell plus one now we will write this before that we will apply if for a function as well now we will write this to here now we will select this all cell control one date format custom we will change this format to day so two times d right we got them here equal if function human start date let's fix that comma the same one so zero if this is greater than or equal to this date in the first week last date plus one then the cell will be this date plus one or else empty right here also we will put the if error also here the same if your month start date is this one let's fix that comma zero if this is greater than equal now this cell plus one then let's print this cell plus one or else empty let's put the if error now we will select this from plus mark we will write this to here now we will select this second row and write this down all the days from the month is printed here okay here in the first cell we have fixed this month that is the start date m5 okay let's fix that and we will write this to here now it's done now we will select february month you can see the february month days are printed here now it is dynamic now we will select this date range alt plus o plus d is the shortcut for the conditional formatting rules manager new rule from user formula to determine which cells to format equal we'll select this first weekday that is under here here we are going to fix the row but not the column if this is e equal to the week of one that is sunday here then we will format gray color new rule same as if that is equal to b of 2 then the same color now we will select this range we can align to center now we can see in the week of one we can select the week of if the organization week of is tuesday the tuesday is highlighted second week of is friday friday is highlighted as per the requirement if there's only one week of we can select none from one of them if there is two week of sunday and saturday we can select sunday and saturday the week of will be highlighted now we will select this range from fill color we can pick some color play by color for the day also we will select this range alt o d new rule we will select this first date that is b5 cell we will not fix column and row both are dynamic if this is equal to md 
we are going to format as fill effects from center okay this color is fine okay right okay one more thing we will put current date here the shortcut is control plus semicolon you will get the current date okay we can select this date and from format painter you can apply you will get the same format here as well now we will select this date range only old od is the shortcut for this from new rule we can select the first cell that is b5 rows and columns are dynamic no not fixing them if this is equal to this date that is current date okay let's format a color here so current date only highlighted here so today is 2023 april 15 so we will select the april here the april 15 is highlighted so uh, the current date will be highlighted here we can do more we can prepare a table with our the task deadlines conditional formatting to highlight the dates for our task deadlines and so on so on this will be a fully dynamic calendar